Godfrey and Morgant. I'm not doing the sewers now, because it takes longer to get to the sewers. If you do them now. Oh, right, Melina. My for bringing me here, and thus I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have for I have luck. No lightning, please. No arrow. Okay. Let me, uh... I watched the, uh, launch trailer. Again. I watched it, like, once before to, like, kind of... I think it was near, like... I don't remember if it was after I was done with the game or, like, when I was close to beating the game. But, like, I watched it again after knowing it a lot better. And, like, I can't believe how much they put in the launch trailer. <laughs> they spoiled... I mean, you, you don't know what the context is when you see it, but, like... After actually playing the game and, like, seeing everything... Or, you know, for the most part, everything everything that was in the trailer. Like, I can't believe they put some of that stuff in there. Like, they put some of the final cutscenes in the trailer. For one. Which look cool. I understand wanting them in a trailer, but, like, I don't know. They did it with the Dark Souls 3 trailer as well. The launch trailer. They, they just, it's, like, so much spoily stuff. They, for this Godfrey and for Oak the Omen, like, they took the themes of the actual bosses, but, like, at least it's, like, the same melody, right? They kind of, like, tweaked it a little bit. It's not, like, the exact same thing, which is pretty neat. Actually, now that I think about it too, Morgoth's kind of similar in a way. It's not the same theme, but it's like... If Margit had a... Like a Phase 2 theme, it would basically be Morgoth's theme. Like, they're very similar. I still think it's funny they used Melania's theme in, in the market fight in the network test. I was watching some network test footage last night because I was curious to see what had changed and, you know, what was in it. But yeah, they use it's it's like a slightly altered version of Melania's theme. It, it's not much different, really, but there's like it's like weird drumming. In the in the market's version of it.
apparently you can strafe that attack. I saw someone else do it, but I've never tried it myself, which honestly makes it even easier to punish. Yeah, you probably have to not lock on. They could make it easier. Oops. Ran too far. What? That insane tracking. I'm like standing behind him and he turns and hits me. Oh, positioned badly there. This is like such a bad fight. <laughs> but like my damage is actually pretty decent here when I can get a bunch of hits in. Oh, that's cool. Right against the wall. <laughs> that I don't know how to handle. You just kind of have to be lucky with your positioning and hope you're behind him. Because if you're in front of him, you're going to get hit. Unless he reacts super quickly. I will really... That's just like the most skeft Morgoth that I've had in a while. Three hundred eighty k, Jesus, or I don't know what it was. Three hundred something. You get so many runes in NG Plus. It's actually nuts. If Morgoth's like the equivalent of Dancer, you get like twice as many as you would for Morgoth compared to Dancer. Dancer, I think, gives like a hundred fifty. I don't even know. Actually, I want to say 50 in Allow NG. A moment. You are unable prevented the thorn. A husk. And you get like 120 from this fight in NG. My purpose, so I'd like to the flame then and guide you. Okay. More mind. I'm not going to need more faith. Although I don't think it'd be a bad thing. Because I think some of the heals scale off of faith. Now the game's gonna get hard. <laughs> like as soon as you hit the mountaintops, which we're about to hit, it's gonna get pretty rough, I think.
Like, there's so many fights I'm dreading in the mountaintops. Duo Knight's Cavalry is just annoying. If you have to fight him actually as a duo, it, it will be bad. Death Rite Birds, both of them suck. Blackblade Kindred, I'm not, like, super worried about, but he can definitely be a problem. Commander Nile, yeah. The start of that fight sucks. Her tree avatar should be fine. And obviously, the great word in Theodora, because I've been dreading the entire run. Because of the insane fire resistance. I mean, we gotta do Nile before we do like half of these bosses, anyways. So we got four underground bosses, two more in Lyurnia, 19 in the mountaintop, 6, 19, 25, plus another, plus another 9, so 34 plus the Bell Twins, 35. So we're 130 bosses in. I don't know how long this has been though. I don't remember how long the game was. I mean, this is, unless I get hard stuck somewhere, this is gonna be faster than the last playthrough, which is good. Yeah, there's an item there. I, I've never seen what that was, and I probably won't for some time. I think the only place I'd get hard stuck is Rykard, to be honest. I don't think Millennia will be that bad. Moog actually could be annoying, now that I think about it, because he's, like, very fire-resistant. Yo, can you... hang on. On, like, the left side, you can see, like, these random pixels glowing? No, that's not the boss. I don't know what that is. Where's the music? Oh, maybe it's one of these guys. There's no music. Why do you have the world's longest grab? I think I stood for too long in, in one spot. It's like, yeah, you don't get music now. Depth perception goes, like, just, like, haywire. You're fighting in darkness like this. I cannot even tell how close I am to him. I think I'm against a wall. Yeah, dude, like, what's all that white stuff in the back of? It's not white, necessarily. It's definitely white. Okay, now the other guy's just here because... I don't know. It feels like it, I guess. Now oh, he's passive again. Okay. I 
This guy's way tankier. I hate this without music, it's so weird. What? What? Oh my god. Just hitting the ground sends projectiles off. How does that even work? Stop it. Dude, that kick did so much damage. Nice whiff. Good whiff again. I just noticed at like the very end he's got like this little weird thong on him. It's not really weird, it's just a thong. Guess he's gonna have something. It's basically like the starting character, but he got fat. And the thong just expanded. Alright, Phil Twin's done. Lindell's pretty much done except for the sewer. Oh, nighttime, 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 night. Is it nighttime? Evening? Yeah, it's probably gonna be nighttime. I'm not taking any chances. Man, hang on. Also, wanna see my list a little more clearly? Okay. It's actually a lot in the mountaintops now that I look at this. Like, boss-wise, it's not even that much. I think it's just a lot of ordering on this uh, list I have. All right, you can't be harder than the one in Kaled, right? Surely. The hard part is just hitting him. My damage is not reassuring. I hate that attack. The tree sentinels do it. These guys do it. Little horse bump. That. I still got hit by that. Okay. Don't 
necessarily agree with that one. Perfect. That's my favorite is when they actually just like die when they fall off. Makes uh, everything so much easier. That wasn't that bad. Like you might as well just attack the horse because if the dude's just going to die when he falls off, like... And it's it's not always like I don't I don't know what triggers it. It's like I swear a 50-50 chance he just dies versus him falling down and actually needing to fight him. So I don't know if it's like unintended or or what. Now we have this fight. Can you not stand on that, please? Thank you. that that roar does damage. Because if you're anywhere in front of him, not anywhere, but like if you're, you know, close to him and in front of him, it's going to hurt. You have to be like behind him. It didn't do anything to be there because luckily I got behind him. Is this damage? I got hit by the first attack, and I couldn't roll the second one because I was staggered. That's one thing I hate about this game. It happens a lot where you just you take one hit and you can't move, and then you get killed by the follow-up. I just feel like it happens more in this game than any other Souls game.
think that was the attack that killed me. I just came from that side. <laughs> I just walked right through it. Sure. Quick attack and just kill me. I think that one's easier than the other Black Blade Kindred, but like they both are pretty rough. Pretty sure I got the first medallion piece. Actually, I know I did. All right, giant mountaintop catacombs. This is. What is it? The, what the hell is it called? The Tree Spirit. Ulcerated Tree Spirit. But I don't remember the dungeon at all. I There's only like three dungeons here, like catacomb type dungeons, and I get all of them confused. Like once we're in it, I'll know where to go, but I just, I can't remember which one it is. I, hmm. No, I don't know. I think I know which one it is. I think it's the one with the clean rot knight and the... It's got like the pillar you need to jump on. I think that's this one. Could be wrong. That could be like the uh, one of the place I can't think of the name of. Snowfield. Oh, this is the one that repeats itself, I think. This is the wrong way, isn't it? I knew it was somewhere. I knew there was an imp that was going to jump on my head. Didn't know where he was, though. Yeah, this is the one that repeats itself. One of the ones that repeats itself.
You know, I never tried running past that because, like, I thought the jars would just instantly kill me, but it actually wasn't even that bad. Good to know. I don't remember how I get back after doing this, so we go down here. Now, instead of going up the stairs, we go this way. I think we go back this way. I honestly think they did a good job with the dungeons, like, not making them feel super repetitive. Like, they might seem repetitive the first time you go through them. Because they do, like, a lot of the rooms are the same, but, like, Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne... Were, I think, a lot more repetitive. Maybe that's just because, like, they were bigger, too. But to me, these feel less repetitive. Even though, like, some rooms are identical, like, the layouts are just like, completely different. Can't even hit this thing. It keeps moving away. That's a good attack to actually punish, but like I was nowhere near him. Can you stop moving away from me? This is so much damage. I don't know if it's gonna like one shot me. Okay, never mind. Not even close. Just gotta keep swinging. Jump now. It feels like it's an attack you almost could jump, but like probably won't be. Can't believe they put two death right birds in the mountaintop. Why? Well, I guess one's technically in the snowfield, but, like, it's pretty much the same thing. Can you see the forge from here? Eh, not really. It's behind the mountain somewhere.
And dude can hit you even like here. I don't know how. But I have seen it. Like curves his arrows around rocks or something, I swear. Yeah, I think um, we're definitely not going to be done with this run today, but tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> it really depends. Like, if gods can do it, it takes a while. That's like the end right card. I don't, I don't think we're going to be done tomorrow, which sucks, but it is what it is. Some of these runs are going to be really long. Like, this isn't even that bad. Any, any run with a bow, pretty much, is going to take forever. If we could get to Moog today, I think that would be a good day. But we still got... Like, six bosses before that. Moog is, like, first trying everything, pretty much. Otherwise, we'll probably end on, like, Knight's Cavalry Duo or something. I think this thing spawns, like, right here. Yeah. Perfect. Really? That's gonna hit me. Oh my god. to put me between them like i wonder if it automatically uh oh that's not good oh okay i didn't see that This is brutal. Why is this so bad? Usually I can like DPS him down quick enough to not have to worry about this being this awful. One HP. I can't even get an attack in. This is so bad, I'm done. I'm alive. No, I'm, I'm still alive somehow. Like, I knew that attack was coming. I pretty much didn't have an option. What? So dead. 
I don't even know how I made it this far, to be honest. I can't even hit him! I was just spamming all one. If this dagger actually could have reached him, he would have been dead. I don't know how I lived that long. Like, there were so many times I should have been dead. <laughs> I know there was at least one moment where I said 1 HP. This is about how much damage I did and I had like double digit flasks and somehow I still didn't beat them. They're just so punishing. Um, there's, I don't know how I lived. They, they, those were off time with each other and somehow I lived. That's bad. That's real bad. Oh my god, that's not what I thought was going to kill me. I thought it was going to be the projectiles. It doesn't help that they hit me for like 60% of my health with every hit. So like, I, I can only take two hits. I think I got to throw Redon's armor on now. There's something else other than this. Crucible Knight armor. Haven't done that. Crucible Knight with daggers. Also, it doesn't help that you can only hit his legs because you hit his front. You don't do any damage. Yeah, that's significantly less damage. Don't listen to anyone who says armor doesn't do anything. Because it does. It's not like it's gonna save you every time, but it definitely uh, helps. Probably would have been dead if I didn't have armor. I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. I would have died faster if I didn't have armor. <laughs> I've never had a problem with this fight, aside from maybe like my first time doing it. But, I don't know, it, it doesn't help that I can't hit on some of these attacks from the front. It just makes everything worse, because if you're missing, like, even 25% of your attacks, it just takes longer, you know? Longer it takes, the more likely you are to die, statistically.
It sucks too because you can't even see like what the one behind the front one is doing half the time. You just know you're gonna get hit somehow. actually kind of helps with these guys a little bit. Makes it easier to hit them for whatever reason. Okay, we're gonna go uh, heal before this death rate bird. Oh, you know what I should do? I, I literally have never... I haven't added anything to this since I got it. Where's the damage negation one? This one. Oh, no, that's that's not even physical damage, is it? I don't know. Heal status. I'm pretty sure the damage negation one is just like everything but physical. I don't know. I could be wrong. I read that somewhere. This one's the protects you for one hit one. I think this would be okay. But I think I should do this too. And make it like an offensive healing tool instead of a defensive one with the healing. Even though it would be nice to have more health, it's like... If I'm gonna do the fire damage increase, I'm just gonna have it be offensive. I think it lasts a while, too. I don't know. I don't know how long the damage lasts, but the stamina, I think, lasts like three minutes. Or the stamina recovery. Wow, this doesn't even look familiar at all, to be honest. It's east. I just... No, it's not. It's west. I. That's why it doesn't look familiar, because I'm going the wrong way. Oops. All right, it's southwest. Yeah, we are not getting to Moog today. <laughs> I mean, we could, like, just go kill Nile, And if Nile dies, we could technically just go to Moog, but there's, like, two bosses I'm going to do on the way there. One is Astol, which actually might suck. Because that's a tough Astol. That has an insane amount of health. And hits like a truck. I do not like this damage. I couldn't, dude. This death rate bird's annoying because the terrain just sucks. The other one's annoying because it's like, kind of two shot you with, with any two attacks. this fight. Actually, it might be better to fight down here. If I can get it down here. Keep it down here. Or, okay. It, like, this thing is sinking into the ground. to 
get back up with the skeletons. That's good. Yeah, I'm not fighting you over there. You're coming to me. You gotta get over here. Surely I can just sit here and not have any of this hit me, right? Oh, yeah, that goes through rocks, sure. Alright, is it time to... To nuke the ground, yep. Okay, we're fine. Like one more headshot and I would have done it. Die, please. Thank you. How many runes? I'm gonna guess 150k. 154. Very close. I think he gives like 70k normally. The other one gives like 220k, so that one's gonna give like 400,000. I think this game it's like actually feasible to get to max level just because enemies give you so many runes late in the game. Especially in like higher NG cycles. Like, you probably get a million from Radagon. Almost a million from Melania. Like, more than... More than ever, basically. Yeah, so they changed the elevator. Which is interesting. Because this elevator used to never be at the top. It was like, it, it was the weirdest elevator ever because it was in between the top and the bottom. But now they just moved it to the top, which is good. Because like before you had to hit the lever to like, to get to it from the bottom. You had to hit the lever at the top to get it up to the top. Are you kidding me? I'm so dead. I had that happen to me last time, too, where they spawned in there and I couldn't get the grace. Like, I wish it let you get the grace. I understand not being able to rest at it, but I wish you could at least touch it. Although I don't I don't think that was ever a thing, was it, in other games? I think DS1, like, you couldn't touch it when there was an enemy nearby. I don't remember if that was the case in Dark Souls 2 or 3. I think in Bloodborne, though, you could. Because I remember just getting attacked while uh, touching them and then just iframing through the attacks. I'm pretty sure I skipped this last time because I just, these things teleported onto me. Yeah, it was so weird the way they did that. Like, no other elevator is, is like that one, but they changed it for whatever reason. It 
This guy basically swings his swords as fast as I swing my daggers. 140 damage. That's what I like to see. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> as soon as I get hit by the other dude, I just started panic rolling. This is like the only bad part of this fight, though, is the beginning. Because the Nile himself is, I think, great. <laughs> 